thank you so much for sending your swing into cyber golf lessons. You had a couple of questions uh, before we begin, and one is your height and uh, how that affects your golf swing. I think more, more, more than the height is the relationship of the length of your arms to your torso. And looking at you, I don't see anything unusual. Um, they say that Ben Hogan had enormous long arms compared to his body, and uh, Nicholas had very short arms compared to his body, and Raymond Floyd, so that affected the way they swung the club. Uh, in your case, I don't think it's, personally, I don't think it's that much of an issue. But what I do think is an issue is, is uh, that you're getting the club a little bit coming from the outside and cutting across the ball. I absolutely love your swing coming down from here and through the ball, beautiful motion, not an early release, you're holding the angle, it's all good, it's very athletic. But what we're seeing from this angle is that your club is going kind of steep, very high. I can see a lot of your right shoulder. If I swing on, on an arc, your right shoulder would be more covered. Uh, and you know, there's current uh, philosophy on one plane and two plane, but I think in your case that you're getting too steep and cutting across the ball. Part of the reason you're getting steep is the way you're turning your body. You're, you're sort of sliding this way instead of a real nice coiling, turning kind of a motion. If you look at your legs, they kind of go this way. You're, ang you're angled this way with your spine. So what I would do f with you is, um, first of all, learn to train your body to turn in a proper manner. If I took my glasses and put them in my pocket, when you turn, you can sort of see the glasses still. And your spine tilts this way. When I turn, the glasses disappear. And I'm not suggesting a monster big turn with your hips, but they have to turn, as um, Greg Norman used to have the swing thought, right pocket back. So his right pocket moved backwards. And another real good way to think of it, I love this one, especially for the longer clubs. If you were standing next to a wall and your right shoulder was on a wall, you want to feel like you're gliding or sliding your right shoulder back on the wall until your chest is flush against the wall. So that would be about 90 degrees of turn with your shoulder. So your right shoulder slides back on the wall and you're um, flush on the wall with your chest. And that will put you in a very different position at the top than, than you were. And when you, when you do that properly, and I coil, it doesn't go straight back, it goes back and up a little bit, but if you just think straight back and coil back, that will shallow out where your arms are. And if you had a mirror or a video, this would be a good exercise. Take your left arm and just pull it right across your chest. If you were stand, standing level, it's directly across your chest. When you tilt, it's still across your chest. So a golf swing, this is an optical illusion. If I were to swing back level like this, standing level, that does not look like a golf swing. But as soon as I bend over into my spine angle, that doesn't look so bad, does it? Looks like a real golf swing. And I think once you come get back in that proper place, you'll start coming down in the right in the right path or on the right path and start hitting the ball a lot solider. So again, thanks for sending your swing in, and I hope that helps you.